Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Creations team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress Gutenberg tutorial for beginners. This is our part number 11. Inside this video session guys, we will start about development guide of custom Gutenberg block. In the last videos means up to video number 10, we have seen about all the default provided of Gutenberg blocks as well as we have compared that is what is the difference between old WordPress editor as well as newly created content editor of WordPress. So inside this Gutenberg tutorial we had seen that the Gutenberg provides all about the flexibility of block levels. It means all the editor functionality is now separated about each blocks. If we go to our browser now this is WordPress admin panel, go to post, click on add new and inside this all we have seen about what basically provided here. So here we have multiple sections like common blocks, formatting, layout elements, widgets, embeds and so on. So these are the default blocks or let's say that Gutenberg blocks what it provides to make or means change or format our layouts. But in some cases let's say that we want something else from these blocks. We want to create or develop our own custom block inside this Gutenberg so that when we click our custom block it will like or appear same as what we have used so far. So there are very basic principles to create the custom Gutenberg development code. We can create, actually we have several options to create Gutenberg block from scratch. We can use either PHP code or simple JavaScript functions as well as we can install or create by npm command means by using node package manager means node.js or by using react elements. So inside this playlist we will discuss about each way to develop custom Gutenberg block. In the first stage we will see about using a simple PHP code as well as JavaScript functions. In that file we have some dependencies over WordPress in the second way means in the second phase of Gutenberg block development we will see about using Node.js. It means we are going to install some WP scripts by using npm command and by the help of Node.js and npm we will develop our block and publish it. In the third phase we will install or go ahead with the WP scripts package and use with the react elements. But in all the cases we need to focus only on the two functions called register block type. This is a WordPress function inside this we need to pass all the block informations and remember while using any block inside this Gutenberg let's say that we are going to use a paragraph tag or let's say a image tag and inside this image we can see that this is our admin panel section. At front end it will be appear in something different way. Let's say that if we upload some images from this media gallery now this is all about the layout of admin panel. Now if we save or publish this post let's put a title and if we publish this post click on view post go at the front end now inside this front end as we can see that here is the appearance is something different it means Gutenberg block is maintaining two CSS files first is for the admin panel means the layout of each block inside admin panel and for the second how this block will be appeared inside for this front end users. So in future videos we need to understand that we need four different files to generate or develop custom Gutenberg block. First all about the PHP code so that we can register our scripts by using register block type. In the second 
we want all about admin panel CSS. In the third, we want all about the front-end CSS and the fourth file that is most important file to generate any custom Gutenberg block is all about JavaScript code. In case of JavaScript code, we will follow this documentation means official documentation of all about block registration. So this is all about the initial video of custom development of Gutenberg block. So don't worry at all about all the attributes or the parameters what defined inside this documentation. We will discuss about each attributes in great detail and we will see that step by step means in three phases of custom custom Gutenberg block development how can we follow and make custom block inside this for admin panel. In the development phases of Gutenberg block if we click on this cross icon and go inside this image tag we also we can see that here is the appearance of this layout at this admin panel. This is all about content setting. In some blocks we also see about right hand sidebar about settings. For this image we have a style and this is all about the style which is a formatting element for this image tag. This will not be appear for each block. Each block have their own different settings. So in our case while developing custom Gutenberg block we also see that how can we add our own custom settings for our own block inside this right hand sidebar. So we are going to cover each aspect of developing Gutenberg block all about the layout, all about sidebar elements as well as about toolbar. Inside this toolbar for this image tag here we have called the settings called align left, align center, align right. So these are the settings of this image tag. If we add some more elements let's say that we are going to add this column. Inside this column as we can see at the toolbar we have list number of options. We have only three options but if we go inside this image we have five types of options means four types of options. So if we will make our own custom custom Gutenberg block we also see that how can we operate or add remove our toolbar items. So we are going to cover step by step each section of development like appearance, sidebar, toolbar maintenance as well as the layout of admin panel as well for the front-end layout. So this will cover all the development phases of custom Gutenberg block development. So from the next video guys this is just overview or introduction that is what we are going to do from the next videos. So hopefully we are going to start custom development of block inside Gutenberg tutorial. So far we had seen all about the default provided blocks we had used and seen that how can we use and create the layouts by using those blocks. So for upcoming videos we are going to use called register block type as well as we will follow the documentation of block registration. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.